Basniat family was a Khas Rajput Chetri family involved in the politics and administration of the Gorkha Kingdom and Kingdom of Nepal. Basniat family was one of the four noble families to be involved in active politics of Nepal together with Saha dynasty, Pande family and Thapa family before the rise of Rana dynasty. This family was the last Chetri political family to be wiped out from the central power by Janga Bahadur Rana of Kumar family during the Vandarkal massacre of 1903 BS. Prabal Singh Basniat, who lived in Lamjung, had two sons, namely Chapat Singh Basniat and Muhajal Singh Basniat. These brothers, Chapat Singh Basniat and Muhajal Singh Basniat, were believed to have come to Gorkha from Lamjung with King Drabya Saha. Chapat Singh Basniat and Muhajal Singh Basniat helped King Dravya Saha to secure the throne of Gorkha. Sivaram Singh Basniat was a descendant of Chapat Singh Basniat. Sivaram Singh Basniat was born in 1771 BS. In 1803 BS, King Prithvi Narin Saha called a meeting of a trusted courtiers to discuss capturing another route to Tibet, Kuti, Baiwach, Kathmandu and other principalities like Bhaktapur and Lalitpur were engaged. It was decided that Songkhu, Changu, Naldum and Mahade Pokhari needed to be captured. In a view of blocking the trade routes, Gorkha wanted to besiege Kathmandu and other principalities and put them into economic blockade. During that discussion, King Prabhupada Saha wanted to know among the courtiers as to who was ready to lead the Gorkhali troops to conquer this area. Nobody dared to speak up. There was complete silence for some minutes. Then, a 32-year-old Sivaram Singh Basniat stood up and offered his services to the King Prithvi Narayan Saha and Gorkha. Sivaram Singh Basniat crossed the Tadi River from Nuakot and arrived at Pativanjang. Then, he came to Sangachok via high altitude of Julelek, Sivapuri and to Changu, Sankhu and Mahade Pokhari. He established a Tharpu, a temporary military camp with his 900 soldiers in Sangha Chok, presently Dware Tol, which is located at the place now called Jahar Singh Pauwa on the highway to Melamsi, some 23 km northeast from Kathmandu. Sivaram Singh Basniat was killed while fighting against the enemies on Monday, 5th Fagun, 1803 BS. Sivaram Singh Basniat was 32 years old. Sivaram Singh was fighting against Kathmandu troops in the front riding on white horse, troops of Patan attacked from behind. It was later found that Sivaram Singh Basniat was holding his sword in his right hand while a strike of a sword by the enemy soldiers of Patan from behind cut off his head. His head fell down. After that, his body fell some meters ahead in the position to attack the enemies. On that day, there was a sudden attack of combined forces of Kathmandu and Dalitpur, consisting of about 3,000 troops on the Gorkhali forces of troops 900 stationed at Sangachok, Tharpu just before midnight. Sur Prava Basniat was the wife of Sivaram Singh Basniat. When husband Sivaram Singh Basniat was martyred in the Battle of Sangachok, Sur Prava Basniat was estimated to be about 28 years old and was also pregnant. Pregnant Sur Prava Basniat took all three orphan sons, Nahar Singh Basniat, Kihar Singh Basniat, Aviman Singh Basniat, along with her for the meeting with King Prithvi Narin Saha. Sur Prava Basniat's son, Dhokal Singh Basniat, was in her womb around this time. Sur Prava Basniat requested the king, since her husband, a tiger, died in the war, the four cubs should be taken care of by the state and they will be useful in the future battles. Sur Prava Basniat also said that she herself was ready to go to the battles if the state permitted. This touched the heart of King Prithvi Narayan Saha and King Prithvi Narayan Saha agreed to take care of all the children under the guidance of senior officials and got trained them in his palace. The four sons were Nahar Singh Basniat, Kihar Singh Basniat, Aviman Singh Basniat and Dhaukal Singh Basniat. Sivaram Singh Basniat became the first major military leader of Gorkha who was martyred 
even before Kazi Kalupande in the campaign of unification of Nepal. On 14th Shravan, 1812 BS, a big battle was fought between Gorkha and Lamjung in Siranchuk. Chaubisi states attacked Siranchuk of Gorkha out of jealousy because Gorkha was getting successful in capturing the eastern region like Naldum, Mahadev Pokhari, Sanku and Changu. In the meantime, news came to the Gorkha palace from the battlefront that Gorkhali forces were losing the war due to the shortage of food and water for the warriors. There were almost no male members in Gorkha at that time to send the reinforcement with food and water. A group of courageous women led by the wife of Kazi, Rana Rudra Saha and Sur Prava Basnet with swords and them went to the battlefield in Sri to distribute food and water to the fighters. Sur Prava Basnet sent her elder sons Nahar Singh Basnet, Kier Singh Basnet and 10 and a half years old son Aviman Singh Basnet to the battle. Kazi, Nahar Singh Basnet, first son of Sivaram Singh Basnet, fought in the Battle of Makwanpur against the forces of Mir Qasim. Nahar Singh Basnet was a major military leader in the battle to capture Kantipur, Patan and Badgaon in 1826 BS. Along with his three younger brothers, Nahar Singh Basnet also fought in the Battle of Tibet in 1845 BS. Kazi Kier Singh Basnet, second son of Sivaram Singh Basnet, went to Tibet to negotiate with it to have the Nepali coins circulated in Tibet. As per Divya Upadis, King Prithvinarin Saha is known to have arranged the marriage between Kazi Kier Singh Basnet and Chitra Devi, the daughter of Kazi Kalupande. Kier Singh Basnet was the major military leader who united the western districts and Kathmandu Valley to Nepal. Kazi Kier Singh Basnet was instrumental in annexing Kathmandu, Patan, Bhaktapur and Kirtipur. His contribution to unifying Nepal is incomparable. Kier Singh Basnet was appointed Chief Administration of Patan immediately after it was annexed to Nepal in 1828 BS. King Prithvinarin Saha waged war against Western Chaubise Rajya under the military leadership of Kazi Bangsaraj Pandey, Kazi Kier Singh Basnet and Sardar Prabhu Malla. The Gorkhali force lost the war against Saubise Rajya and Kazi Kier Singh Basnet died in the battlefield. Aviman Singh Basnet, born on 14 Fagun 1801 BS, the third son of Sivaram Singh Basnet, became the second commander-in-chief of a united Nepal. After two decades of battle, Pirinarin Saha captured Kathmandu and moved into the capital along with his subordinates where he resided at the Hanuman Dokha Palace. After the last of his conquests on the west, Aviman Singh Basnyat was prompted to Kazi who built Man Mandir which is also known as Tilanga Bhavan in Kathmandu. Aviman Singh Basnyat was given the land as a gift for conquering Kathmandu. Kazi Aviman Singh Basnyat constructed a house in 1833 BS for himself in Asan, Kathmandu which is known as Man Mandir which still exists as Tilangaghar or Palkangar. Aviman Singh Basnyat supposedly conquered Kathmandu with 72 soldiers, hence you can see the engraving of these soldiers marching forward as a tribute to those brave 72 who led him towards victory. Aviman Singh Basnyat recited one of the inner chokes while the anterior building was used for the accommodation of the soldiers for his protection, which is how Paltanghar got its name. Paltanghar was the first private building after the Hanuman Dhoka Palace itself that was allowed to use glass windows. On the row of soldiers, you can also find that one of them is on a horse. It is assumed that this is the engraving of Kazi Aviman Singh Basnyat himself leading his troops. Dibya Upades, written by Prithvi Narin Saha, was found in the Baitak of Paltankar and was presented to King Mahendra by the Basnyat family. Parts of the engraving of the 72 Paltans, which was one of the most important parts of the house, have now been destroyed. Aviman Singh Basnyat died at the age of 56 in Asar, 1857 BS, when Aviman Singh Basnyat was sent to settle the area of Morang and Sunsari, then called Kalabajar. Aviman Singh Basnyat 
had delivered the Jamindari power to Tharu and honor with the title of Chaudari. It was a great injustice to him to have been assigned by King Rana Bahadur Saha to this area of dense forest at that old age when Aviman Singh Basnyat was already a Mulkazi. It was because of Aviman Singh Basnyat's displeasure about the marriage of Rana Bahadur with the child Brahmin widow Kantivati. Aviman Singh Basnyat was reported to have suffered from fever, possibly malaria, and died of it. Kazi Dhokal Singh Basnyat fourth son of Sivaram Singh Basnyat became the governor of Kumao Garhwal. Kazi Dhokal Singh Basnyat was the first owner of the present Narvanhiti Palace area known as Kirti Mandir at that time. During the reign of King Rana Bahadur Saha, when Prime Minister Bhimsen Thapa came into power and there was a power struggle between the Pandes and the Thapas, the Basnyat's family sided with the Pandes as they had earlier marital links with them back in Gorkha. Despite the Basnyat's family immense contribution to Nepal's unification, nobody from the Basnyat family was declared Rashtriya, Bivuti or national hero. There were other Basnyat's origin such as Ranya Basnyat, Jitman Basnyat, Bir Dhoz Basnyat, Indra Bir Basnyat, Banka Bir Basnyat, Ranadip Singh Basnyat, Ranadir Singh Basnyat, Jahar Singh Basnyat, Kirtiman Singh Basnyat, Bhaktavar Singh Basnyat, Bakat Singh Basnyat, Kulman Singh Basnyat, Prasad Singh Basnyat, etc., who fought or sacrificed their life in various battles and wars for the protection of Nepal's sovereignty in the later period of Nepalese history. Thank you.